Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my end of year favorites video where I share all of my favorite products that I've used throughout the year. Some of these products are new releases, some of them I've tried for the very first time this year. So I have a bunch of makeup, skincare, and hair care products. I'm going to go ahead and start with makeup first since I have a ton of makeup products. So let's go ahead and get right into this video. Okay, so the first makeup product that I'd like to share with you guys are my three favorite foundations for 2018. Yes, I have three favorite foundations for 2018, and I love something different about each of these foundations. So the first one I have here is the NYX Can Stop Warm Stop Foundation, and I love how long-wearing this foundation is and how matte it is. I did go ahead and do a review on all three foundations, which I will link down below, so you guys can get like an in-depth review of each one, but yeah. I love how long wearing this is. I wore this for up to 9 hours without having to touch up and I was trying this out in like 80 degrees heat so for my oily skin that is a huge huge plus so I love how long wearing this is and how matte this one is. So my next foundation is the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. I am in the shade D70 and I love how comfortable this foundation is. A medium to full coverage foundation so you do have to build it up but it's so lightweight it feels like second skin it gave me more than four hours without having to touch up which is something that I usually found with um, drugstore foundations after four hours they're literally gone to hell and I have to touch them up so anything over four hours is usually a plus for me so this did give me more than four hours I believe it gave me like six and a half up to seven hours wear without me having to touch up but it's definitely not as long wearing as the NYX foundation but super super comfortable. So the final foundation that I have loved for 2018 is of course my Maybelline Superstay Long Wear Foundation and this foundation guys I'm telling y'all the coverage on this is bomb like you literally you don't have to color correct you don't have to do anything at all I am wearing the foundation today I put no type of concealer underneath the foundation to cover up any of my acne scars and I do have a lot of acne scars this went over my acne scars and just covered everything up so I love how full coverage this is it did give me a longer wear than the fit me foundation which was my favorite foundation before but I feel like this is like an upgrade to the fit me foundation they made it full coverage and they made it more long wearing so I really like this foundation for the coverage my next product is something that I didn't purchase I actually was given this by bare minerals and influencer so a huge thank you to them for that so I did have an opportunity to try this new bare minerals blemish rescue uh, concealer and I love the concept behind this concealer and this bare minerals product line especially as a person who has oily acne prone skin like guys literally every single time I think just the thought of me wearing makeup my skin starts to break out for example today I do have a bit of texture going on they're not fully inflamed pimples but they're trying to come up which I'm gonna take care of as soon as I take my makeup off but yeah literally just the thought of me wearing makeup my skin starts to go crazy like after I take this off and I give myself about two days for my skin to go back to normal completely blemish free but let me think about wearing makeup and my skin goes crazy I like the fact that they have this blemish rescue concealer and it has 1% salicylic acid which helps to treat existing acne and prevent new ones so I really really like this concealer and it's very full coverage I'm not usually a fan of a stick concealers let me show you guys what it actually looks like so this is a stick concealer I'm usually never a fan of stick concealers but this one is so creamy and full coverage so I really like this one so the next product is something that I have reviewed here on my channel as well and this is the black radiance loose complexion setting powder now as a dark skin girl I have trouble finding setting powders that do not give me that horrible flashback when I take pictures and this one did it I did a flashback photo test as well in that video so I'll leave that down below so you guys can check it out but this powder is really really it for me and it is huge for the price you cannot beat it with a stick I feel like I will have this for a really really long time my next favorite product is this Juvia's Place Royalty 2 highlighter and this is what the box looks like. I'll show you guys what the actual container looks like. So this highlighter is really, really beautiful. So I did a video on Instagram 
of this look using this as a highlighter and as an eyeshadow as well so I really really love 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 the pigment on this and even though the jar seems really small you will have this for a very long time because a little bit really does go a long way and I'm not exaggerating when I say that because when I tried it at first I went ahead and used way too much and I'm telling y'all even my toes were highlighted like it's serious a little bit really really does go a long way another highlighter that I really love for 2018 is the crayon case on a roll highlighter this is what it looks like this one is also super pigmented brown girl friendly I am wearing it today so yeah this is great for all complexions but really for darker skin tones I feel like this one really really pops so I like it it's very very pigmented as you guys can see here so yeah these two highlighters were my favorites for this year this product is something that I talked about in my Walmart beauty box unboxing video and I have tried it and loved it and that is the Biore micellar cleansing water and this is great for oily skin I am going to purchase a full-size bottle of this one because I used to use the Garnier sensitive skin micellar cleansing water but I really like this one a lot more I feel like it does a better job of taking off my makeup so definitely I'm gonna purchase a big bottle of this one and that's what I love about my Walmart beauty box it's just five dollars per season and you get to try a bunch of products to see which ones you like and which ones you want to purchase so I am happy I was able to try this so I know that I like it and now I can go purchase the full size one Another product that I got in my Walmart beauty box that I absolutely love is this Maybelline master precise liner and this has like a super fine tip I don't know if you guys can see in here it has a super fine tip it's very 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 precise and easy to use so if you're like a beginner to eyeliner this is a great eyeliner to try it has a very nice fine tip so you have lots of control over it I really like this one of course I'm going to purchase the bigger one to this almost finished with my makeup products guys I promise so if you guys are beginners to makeup or you know a beginner to makeup that you want to get a gift a great gift would be this it's my Ray Ray and BH cosmetics palette if you don't know who Ray Ray is she is a fellow youtuber and I really wanted to support her so I went ahead and bought her palette and I think that this is just a great starter palette to have so this one has a mirror great for traveling and then it has some beautiful just warm tone shadows in here and little pops of color all over and then you have the highlight and contouring section at the bottom so this is just like a great all-in-one palette I would definitely definitely travel with this it looks a lot bigger on the website but this is the actual size very nice and compact very very good for travel so yeah this look on the screen is something that I created using this palette the lid shade is a Morphe eyeshadow single but every other shadow that I use in this look is from this palette very very pigmented shadows absolutely recommended for beginners and not just beginners like if you are like a pro in makeup but you want like a nice all-in-one palette this is a great palette too it was my first eyeshadow palette I tried from BH Cosmetics and I've got to say like I'm very very much impressed. Final makeup product is again from BH Cosmetics and it's just this 12 piece Rosé Romance brush set and it comes with a case inside as well and I saw these brushes all over Instagram and I wanted to try them. So my first thing to tell you guys, caution to everybody because I was surprised, is that these um these brushes are a lot smaller in person than they look on Instagram and I'm gonna show you so this is the case so these are some of the brushes I did use some of them today because like I told y'all I'm so obsessed with these brushes but these are what the brushes look like and they're so freaking nice and soft and beautiful and this foundation brush I was like yo this foundation brush is super super small if you guys know the elf um, ultimate blending brush that's the brush that I love and that's the brush that I usually use so it has like a bigger head much like this one I'm not used to something as small as this but when I tell you guys that this packs on your foundation and gives you a nice flawless finish I'm not exaggerating if you have never tried BH Cosmetics brushes highly highly recommended okay guys so I lied that is not my final makeup product this is my final makeup product so today I am wearing the Fenty Beauty lip stunner and guys 
I did not want to have no parts of Fenty Beauty. I did not want to try it because I did not want to become addicted. But my supervisor decided to get me this for Christmas. And when I tell you guys that this is so, so comfortable, I am not exaggerating. I have tried a lot of matte liquid lipsticks and I'm telling y'all that some of them, like 90% of them, are usually super drying. This one is so, so comfortable, it's scary. I think I've worn this like four or five times already and that is huge for me because I have a big lipstick collection so I have a variety of stuff, you know? So I usually don't repeat the same lip color all the time but for me to be wearing this four to five times back to back will tell you how comfortable this is. Like for example, I have this exact color in a ColourPop lipstick but it's very drying so I really do have to go heavy on my moisture before applying that but this one so so comfortable it's very very scary that was it for makeup let's get into my skincare products I have a few skincare products and then we'll jump right into hair care first skincare product I want to mention is this anti-imperfection mask from the body shop and guys it is so good that I have purchased a second bottle so this one is almost finished and I already have a backup because I have not been able to put this down. A few months ago I did a video on the best products for oily acne prone skin and I mentioned my Expo skincare products as well as products from the body shop. What I noticed about my skin is my skin really likes products with a lot of natural ingredients in them which is why I like the products from the body shop and exposed skincare. They do use a lot of natural ingredients in their products. So this anti-imperfection mask is one of those things that I really love to use. I did a full review of this on my blog and showed you guys like the day by day progress of me using this and how quickly it got rid of the pimples for me. So I will link that blog post down below so you guys can check it out if you have oily acne prone skin acne prone skin in general this is a great product to try as a matter of fact the body shops tea tree oil line is amazing for acne prone skin period so another product that i do have from the body shops tea tree oil line again is their mattifying lotion and this is their tea tree oil mattifying lotion this is something that i live on during the summer and i always wait for their 40 percent off sale or more right now they do have a sale of 40 50 and 75 percent off sale i am definitely going there tomorrow because i have to stock up on this this is like almost finished so i have to stock up on this in preparation for summer and um I don't think I'm going to get another one of these since I do have one already, but I do need one of the little bottles of tea tree oil as well. So I need this uh, bottle of tea tree oil and I love their body butters. I am obsessed with their body butters and I mentioned that in last year's favorites. But yeah, this right here is amazing for summer. It's a mattifying lotion and it leaves your skin completely matte. I like to use this especially under my makeup so it can help to keep the oil at bay. The product that I love during the summer and I'm so in love with this that I'm so tempted to use it in the winter time but I can't because you know it's a mattifying product and during the winter my skin goes from oily to combination and mattifying products generally don't work with my skin during the winter months but yeah so this is a CeraVe ultra light moisturizing lotion with SPF 30 and I really really love this during the summertime you guys I cannot tell y'all you can see from the tube here how much I have lived on this during the summer this is like a dream come through before I was using my Garnier SPF but it was only great for the winter time when I tried it in the summer guys and I put my makeup on over it I can tell you guys like you could see from my forehead like the makeup was literally separating that's how badly my face got super super oily with that SPF so I really had to find a mattifying SPF and this one did it for me this summer you guys really really do love this highly recommend it if you have oily skin that's it for skincare guys i literally have only two hair care products just because my hair care routine is pretty much consistent and consists of the same products usually but there are two products that i was still on the hunt for and i have finally found them and that is a hair lotion the really lightweight moisturizing hair lotion that my hair will absorb without a problem and a really lightweight moisture only leave-in conditioner and i have found them both the first hair product i'd like to talk about is this african pride anti-breakage hair lotion 
this is a really moisturizing hair lotion guys let me show y'all how moisturizing this is Ooh, did that just splash all over me so you know i'm not exaggerating right so this is me putting some on look at that look how it runs you guys will see i just tilt my hand and look how it runs so freaking lightweight it's unbelievable and in addition to it being really really lightweight y'all it smells amazing so that for me is a huge plus they do have quite a few of these i did pick this up in walmart if i cannot find the exact link to this product i will try to leave the name for you guys the final product that i want to talk about is my moisture only leave-in conditioner so my problem with finding moisture only leave-in conditioners was that they always weigh my hair down and i hate it so I found this Garnier Hope Blends, like what else is new, leave-in conditioner. And at first, I was a bit skeptical because it is a cream leave-in conditioner and that has been my problem. Like these cream leave-in conditioners are going to drive me crazy. And the liquid ones that I saw were way too expensive, so I was just like, uh, no ma'am. I'm going to give this a try because on this bottle it says it's silicone free and it does not weigh your hair down. So I'm like, Garnier, I love 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 most of your products already i use a shampoo conditioner and a few other products from y'all and i'm trusting y'all to not have this weigh my hair down so i went ahead and gave this a try guys my hair has never ever felt so incredibly soft when i tell y'all my hair is soft whenever i use this i can't stop running my fingers through my hair and my actual last wash day i did use this and my new growth is so freaking soft right now it's unbelievable i will show you guys my hair vlog which is another video that i do have coming up my hair vlog will consist just of like my weekly hair care routine basically what i do during the week and you guys will see me comb my hair through in that video i did use this on my wash day and y'all will see how my comb runs through my hair even at 14 weeks post relaxer and the new growth right now guys is real so when i tell y'all that this softens my new growth so so much huh, i can't rave enough about this product if you see me going this hard over a cream leave-in conditioner believe me it is amazing so yeah definitely try this out if you're looking for a moisture only leave-in conditioner a little bit goes a long way of course and y'all won't regret it and that is it for this favorites video guys those are the products that i was loving for 2018 i will leave the links to these products down below if i can find them or i'll leave the name of the product thank you guys so so much for watching and i'll talk to you next time bye